On the night of my husband's suicide, I was at an exhibition of my work. Frank and I met in art school. He became a struggling graphic artist, and I became successful. He called me that night, blaming me as usual for my success and his failure. And I ended up in bed with an art critic who actually admired me. And it had been so damn long since I had felt the way he made me feel. I returned home two days later to find his body. And it was then that I realized what real guilt was. I fled, leaving my art, my friends, my life behind. Rome was beautiful, but haunting. Its art as cold and dead as my husband and my life. And then, at one of those amazing Roman sidewalk cafes, I met Sophia. We laughed and gossiped, but she sensed the sadness and guilt in me and said simply, you must come to Sorolo. The hills, the gorges, and the Adriatic so blue under the Italian sun, and the people. If my home does not make your heart sing well, and there are no more songs left inside you. When she stood to leave me, she stopped, turned to me, and said, Friends will always find each other, even across lifetimes. Then she was gone. I rented a car and drove up the Italian coast, wondering if I had any more songs left inside me. 